Hello, I'm Cyril Wong, and I'm the author of This Side of Heaven. Today, I'll be answering the questions you have sent in. By the way, we are also giving the person with the best question a special promo discount. So make sure to watch till the end to find out if you are the one. The first question is by Gilbert Teo who asks, what works of art and literature have inspired the writing of my novel, This Side of Heaven? I would say Kuo Pao Kun's The Spirit's Play has been a major influence, as well as Greek to Tibetan mythologies regarding the afterlife. The next question is by Peanut Butter who asks, what's your favourite book of all time and why? I have too many. If I had to pick, it would have to be Linda Paston's Carnival Evening, New and Selected Poems. It was the book that really made me decide to be a poet. I love Linda Paston for the sparseness of language with which she expresses her lived experiences, and I also love her for her wisdom. The next question is by Ray Pin, who asks, which is harder, poetry or prose? Each presents its difficulties. Poetry is for me more difficult because I always end up rewriting a poem more times than I would a prose work. Poetry is like deciding what your last words would be before you die. That kind of conciseness and urgency demands more from me when I'm writing poetry. The next question is by Daryl Wetter Writer who asks, in literary fiction, how much can character be plot? I try not to differentiate between literary and non-literary fiction, and sometimes all of characterization can be plot. For example, one only needs to read Lucy Elman's recent novel called Duck's Newberry Pot, which is almost automatic writing from a single character's point of view, told as a single sentence from start to finish. Sometimes the plot can be deeply embedded, and it is up to readers to make out the plot for themselves, through the psychological movements of the character's mind. That is, if the reader is willing to work hard enough to decipher the plot. The next question is by Invincibella, who asks, Would you have used diction to differentiate your characters further? I love your poetic prose. Thank you for saying that. And my answer is not really. Although I do have characters that, that speak more lyrically or poetically than others, most of the time, I find that simple sentences are generally far more authentic in conveying the vulnerability of a character. If I could use simple words all the time, I would. I only use different modes of diction to vary the tonality of the prose now and then, so as to keep things interesting for the reader. And all modes of diction are basically different expressions of what I sound like on the inside, the different versions of who I am. The next question is by Ines Tan. Hi Ines. She asks, Hi Cyril. You have written so many books. How do you keep yourself going? How have you overcome writer's block or other struggles to write? My simple answer is this. I overcome it by not overcoming it at all. Usually when I try not to write, the urge to write will come back even stronger. So my trick is to do a bit of reverse psychology on myself. When I can't write, I just use it as an excuse, as an excuse to take a break to live, to chat with loved ones, all of which are far more vital than writing to me. Then when I stop writing for long enough, the urge to write comes back, usually with a vengeance. The next question is by Alatez, who asks, which is your favorite poem you have written? That is like asking which child of mine is my favorite. <laughs> I love my poems differently, if not quite equally. Most of my own poems that keep returning to my own mind are my love poems. They are the poems that know me most intimately, I think. Presently, however, because I am in a meditative state during this circuit breaker period, my long poem, Satori Blues, is the poem that I keep returning to these days. The next question is by Sufyan Hakim, who asks, what would your personal heaven and hell be like? I would prefer to be in neither because either place is not forever. Heaven and hell is always just a matter of perspective and all perspective is impermanent. Every state of being is temporary. If I could design my own brief heaven, however, it would be a nightclub with performances every half hour by all of my talented friends. 
my personal hell would be the garden that I have written about in my novel, which is kind of like a mental institution. The next question is by Serene Wright Owl who asks, how do you keep the writing coming? My simple answer is this, by living intensely and occupying the present moment fully, all the time, alongside the people I love. It is the people I love that inspire me to write. They constantly give me something to write about. The next question is by Storytelling Center SG, who asks, When you were a child, what do you want to be when you grow up? I wanted to be a priest. I remember taking my Roman Catholic upbringing very seriously, and I was very extremist in the ways in which I conducted my early life. So I couldn't just be religious. I had to be the most religious. As such, I wanted to be a priest. I was almost fully convinced, believe me, until puberty and adulthood kicked in and returned me to my senses. The last question is by Li Shan Chan, who asks, if you weren't a writer, what would you be doing with your life? I would be a classical singer. I had already been involved in many hours of classical singing training every week when I was a teenager. But the classical music scene was very unenlightened to me and very elitist in ways that I just couldn't tolerate. And so life took me down a different path. A writing path that is, I think, more solitary and ultimately more reflective and meaningful. So, for the moment we have all been waiting for, the best question goes to Invincibella for her question about diction. Congratulations! It was a question that gave me an opportunity to talk about the difference between poetic language and ordinary speech in writing. So thank you for that opportunity. Well, that's it for this session of Ask Authors Anything. If you have any other burning questions for other authors, do drop Epigram Books a message on Facebook or Instagram. Thank you for all your questions and support, and I'll see you soon.